Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty and this is take two of recording this video. This is the palette tag. Um, I was not really sure I wanted to do this because I don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And so I went ahead and decided to do it, but there will be a little bit of overlap, so uh, no complaining. Okay, so the first palette is your newest palette. And I have a tutorial on this coming up. And this is the Sugar Crystals palette by Violet Boss. This I was talked in to purchasing this by my Aunt Becky. I needed something colorful in my kit and for myself and for my professional kit. I had tried some other ones and ended up decluttering them. I like to declutter quite a bit, sometimes too much, and then I go back and um, realize I wanted it. So this has, this, this top row is, these are mattes, very pigmented colors, buildable, um, no fallout so far, really, this is awesome. Um, then there is like a medium tone shimmer and then a light shimmer at the bottom. And um, in the tutorial coming up, you'll see that I actually didn't even need to pull in a second palette. You can if you want, um, but I think it's a great colorful palette um, to use on its own. My oldest palette is um, OG. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone in the original packaging. Um, I actually like this formula better. They redid this formula. Um, so I kept these because I just like them better. But um, if you have one of these, let me know. I'm pretty sure my Aunt Becky has one of these. This has, I like this color palette because it has um, the neutral colors. It's got a pops of green, but it's really subtle. So you could actually use this like in an everyday situation. And the only complaint, I guess, is there's not really like a matte matte in this, but I think there is in the new formula. So let me know below if you like the old formula or the new formula better. Most expensive palette is from my Aunt Becky. This is the Guerlain. This is this butterfly palette because she knows I love butterflies. And it's this purple, I don't know why I can never open it. Um, it's a very subtle, of course it's not gonna come up here. It's just very, um, blinding so it's hard to pull up but there it's a quad i think it's like 70 dollars it's beautiful it's sh it, there it's like sheer washes of color um again pretty but so expensive i'm like afraid to use it because it's so pretty um but you can tell that i do like purple on the eyes um the only weird thing is that it comes with these like um sponge tip applicators for a palette that's 70 dollars i find that so weird um, but it is really, really beautiful, and I'm thankful that I have it. Um, I don't use it very much, again, because it's just so pretty. I feel like I'm ruining it. Um, most affordable palette, I picked the Revolution um, palette that I believe is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. And there was such an uproar about if that palette was good. I went ahead and got the Revolution version, and I love these grungy colors. I love um, a softer, grungier, messier eye look versus something more technical. Um, especially for my hooded eye, it looks better anyway, and these colors really speak to me. Um, it even has, it's hard to see, but this is that green, like this light shimmery green that's in the subculture palette. Um, I mean, Revolution eyeshadows are great. You know, some of these might be a little bit better than others in the palette, but I think this was like $7. Look at how many shadows you get, $7. Um, there's like this beautiful bronze tone and I love the mustards. Oh my gosh, look at that mustard, ooh. Okay, everyday palette. So if I wore eyeshadow every day, I would probably um, pick something like this. Uh, I'm, I was trying to not pick a palette that was discontinued, but I had to. Um, this is the Mario, um, Master Palette by Mario. It's an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyeshadow palette and I like this one because it's similar to the Wet n Wild one where it's got neutrals but it does have its own version of color that is subtle. So like there's a blue here, a green here, and you have your warm tones. Um, this reminds me of this Revlon, no, it's Revlon or L'Oreal Quad that I used to wear high school, college, and it had a blue, a mauve, a gold, and like a shimmering, like off pinky nude. I can't describe it fully, but it was this beautiful quad and this has that same kind of feel to me, so I, I had to have it. Um, I think these 
colors are beautiful. I just, it sucks because you can't really buy it anymore. The only complaint I have on the Anastasia shadows are they are so soft that there is quite a bit of fallout. Um, you, can, you can go through the pans pretty quickly. Um, but I mean, they're beautiful, so. Okay. Um, we are gonna get into some overlap here. So my most colorful palette is the Zodiac Love Signs um, by BH Cosmetics. And when I first got this in the mail, I literally squealed. Um, first of all, I love the circle. Um, it's We've got matte color in the center, and then you've got shimmer, uh, like a coordinating shimmer on the outside, and then you have a, um, it's supposed to be a highlighter, but it is very glittery in the center. So I would use this more on the inner corner. Um, this is huge. It's like the same size as my head. So this is also my biggest palette. So this is my biggest palette and my most colorful palette. Again, I've gotten rid of so many things, um, but if you need something inspiring, something with color, something affordable, I think I spent somewhere between 10 and $15 on this. It hits all the marks. Um, again, matte, shimmer, you have neutrals, you have color, you have kind of the whole rainbow here, and it's really affordable. And I think the quality of shadows that BH Cosmetics does is really, really nice for the price that you get. My smallest, I went ahead and went with this quad. I don't know if a quad counts as a palette, but I'm counting it. It's the L'Oreal um, quad. It's like silvers and grays. I don't really wear these tones very much, but the quality is actually pretty dang good. And there are mattes and shimmers in this. So this is kind of an all-in-one palette, which I think is really nice. I tend to not buy um, really massive palettes unless they are hitting a spot that is missing from my collection or my kit. Like that BH Cosmetics, I needed something with color, I needed something inspiring, and that kind of hit the mark. But in general, I'm into more palettes that kind of, you know, for myself, right? They're more um, curated and when you open it, you know you can use all the colors and you're gonna get through it. You know, this Zodiac palette, I'm probably never gonna get through all of it, um, but it was affordable, so it's not really breaking the bank. You know what I'm saying? Palette with the best memory. So this one, um, my mom passed away um, in November of last year and um, right before Thanksgiving. And so the holidays were very hard and um, Freddie's family is amazing. Um, I had posted a YouTube video of kind of like my wish list of things, and this was on that wish list, and they watched it, and they purchased it for me for Christmas, and they made my Christmas very special, and so it's a very memorable moment for me, and this, as much as I just love the palette in general, it does have a very emotional connection, surprise emotion. Um, a lot of people don't like this because there are only two mattes in here, but this is probably one of my favorite palettes. The color tones, again, you know, you can see kind of a trend in the colors that I like. You know, this Revolution palette, um, kind of the greens, the golds. I would wear green every day if I could on my eyes. I mean, I can, right? I, I'm an adult. I can choose whatever I want to do. Um, but the only, you know, I've complained about this already. This is broken, there's crap ton of fallout, but the shadows are so beautiful, I will continue to use them. So this is my best memory palette. This is, oh, sorry, this is the Melt Smoke Sessions palette. I didn't even say that. All right, a palette worth the hype. Here's another one that's gonna have some overlap. Juvia's Place is probably top three favorite um, shadow formulas brand. It's affordable, the shadows are outrageously amazing. Um, buildable, soft, the shimmers are so good. This is the Magic Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. Um, I use this quite a bit. Again, it's got my little greens in there. There's a few palettes that I really want to purchase, but again, I don't really wear shadow. So um, I got the Warrior 2, which I'll put up here, and that's in my kit. Um, I also want the Warrior 1. I just think those, like, pigmented neutral shadows are so gorgeous. Um, this has neutrals, it's got mattes, it's got pops of color. You can do lots with this palette, but in general, any palette you get from her is going to be amazing. I have heard that some of the newer palettes might be a different formula, but I haven't tried those, so I cannot speak to that. My most used palette is the last palette, and that is, um, I'm not gonna get it out because it looks really gross, but it's, um, 
the two it cosmetics it's like the romantic palette and the something else palette so i um, depotted both of those and put them in a big z palette and those are my go-to shadows for my kit every wedding photo shoot i do i use those no matter what they are very soft they are buildable i mean and they're like very subtle buildable it's a formula that works on very very wrinkly lids and very very young lids and it just looks beautiful on everybody i would say my only complaint is that um, a lot of the lighter shadows are very powdery in not in feel but in color so like the base is a little bit lighter than it could be and so if you are in a darker skin tone um those lighter tones aren't really going to work for you um which is where juvia's place kind of comes in i think that they do a better job um with a wider range of skin tones so it cosmetics needs some work on that for sure but those palettes they just i don't know how to explain it but i've already repurchased one of the palettes again and I would say between those two palettes and a few Natasha Denona mattes, um, that really is my go-to like skeleton palette for any look that I do on somebody else. And then I can bring in color or shimmer or you know something a little bit deeper for a darker skin tone and play with that as it goes. So anyway, those are my palettes. Sorry there is some overlap. Again, I don't really buy eyeshadow very often. Um, I have to be very inspired by it. I'm more drawn to like blush and lipstick. So let me know down below if you like any of these, if you have some recommendations, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.